Okay, so welcome to uh, the first video from my bedroom for a very long time. Um, you may have seen the short of, well, I think I released a couple of shorts, I can't remember, but I released a short video on this, uh, basically just showing uh, the alarm going off. Um, but I thought I'd just do a, a, like a full test and test all three of the uh, devices here. Um, just to show you this little demo board I made. Um, now, a lot of you will probably know that sort of down on the floor here, I used to have like a tiny little bit of wood. In fact, it's here. This is the piece of wood. I'll show you. Yeah, it's, it's a tiny piece of wood. And it had like one detector, one call point, one sounder, and it was connected to my little homemade relay panel. Um, and it was purely for testing conventional devices that I'd got a new because it's basically just a 24 volt power supply with some relays in it so that's what it was used for um, and that's what it's still being used for but I thought I'd do a little bit of a better thing with it now this is my wardrobe um, and it's got loads of plush toys on top of it now that's because I have a YouTube channel where I play claw machines uh, so subscribe to Bright Attraction if you want to see why I have all of the, those I need to I need to move them or get rid of them, but I'm <laughs> quickly running out of space. Look, I've got a drawer full, and then it's all under my bed as well. But uh, yeah, anyway. So yeah, this is my wardrobe, and I just thought I'd make a, a neater demo board to put all these devices on because it it would it's just nicer uh, than having it all on the floor. It means I've got more floor space in my room, and it means that. Uh, should people come in and, and see this, it just looks a bit more uh, professional, a bit less like wires all over the place and all that. I mean, it is still wires all over the place. You can see there's some twin in the... <laughs> yeah, it, it's not the neatest of things, but it's far neater than the uh, existing solution. Now, it's not actually screwed into the wardrobe because I don't want to make holes in it. So it has sort of a counterweight here. This is a piece of decking. Uh, so it's a pretty heavy piece of wood. And then it's got this metal bracket that goes down. And then obviously the big board is screwed into that. So it is just loose on the wall, wall, on the wardrobe. Um, and it's, it's only support is the weight from this. Um, it's pretty sturdy for what it is. So I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, now that's the main feed there and it just goes down. There's some devices there. That's just where I like to keep things so that I can look at them. And there's a plug for it here, which I will plug in. And then that's the panel turned on. So, it's got all Gent devices, as it should, because Gent is the best. And, uh, so yeah, there's a C3, there's, I've got the model of these. 7840. Um optical conventional detectors. Uh, this one doesn't have a logo because the logo um, the logos rub off really easy on these. You can see even this one has a bit of damage. Um, but to be fair, they look quite nice even without a logo. If you look really closely, you probably won't see it on camera. You can see it did have a logo at one point. Uh, but yeah, it just obviously over time wore off and I'm assuming people, well, someone cleaned the detector. Uh, while it was installed or something like dusted it or something and it just sort of fell off or crusted off because they're, they're getting old these conventional detectors now they're not they are not new detectors um this one's whiter than this one uh, it, i think it's actually older though this one's 2007 as far as i'm aware yep 2007 and the one there, 2012, with the logo one. So yeah, we've got them, the C3, and then just the 1195 newer model. This is also from 2012, this 1195 came new in box. That's its original back box as well, so it looks very nice. Um, so yeah, I'll start testing. Now these detectors are really sensitive, so there's a significant chance that they're both going to go off at the same time, but I'll try and mitigate that by spraying sort of an upwards angle towards the one with no logo. See look, they're really sensitive. That's got fog roll in it. Because it is quite loud even on low volume. And then yeah, it's the same panel. You've seen it before. 
and yeah that's just how it works now this panel if you know it doesn't actually reset the devices so it, just, it, it resets the silence relay but it doesn't reset the devices which means that you have to unclip devices to uh reset the system which is slightly annoying it's not a very good design um but oh well doesn't matter you get this one now this one's more sensitive yeah that was my fault for not resetting the system but like you can see how it works there and i will reset the system for the full point take that off because it's just going to re-alarm constantly probably oh, let's do this there we go uh, yeah, let me find my keys real quick because I have no idea where they've gone. I right, got my keys, so we can do the eleven ninety five now. I really like the look of these. I think they look really, they look quite modern for for how old of a design they are. Bearing in mind the original design for this is like late eighties, um, and they were used up until twenty twelve. It's a design that's proven to be effective. Um, but yeah, we'll give that a test. And that's that. I can put the detectors up now. And yeah, you'll notice that one is upside down. They're both upside down. Because I was a bell end when I installed them. Didn't really think about the orientation. But it really doesn't matter because it's not like they have a top or a bottom. If it was on a ceiling, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pay any attention to its uh, orientation. But yeah, that's that. So I hope you enjoyed that little look at my... Uh, bedroom demonstration board uh so yeah thank you for watching <laughs>